Welcome back to yet another little video and this time it's about the terminal how to make it look a little bit better and easy to use and um, you experienced guys will most likely not have any benefit of this at all since it's pretty basic knowledge but you new guys maybe can pick something up and um, perhaps tips other users about it as well first of all I have the XFCE4 terminal no reason for that I'm just used to it and I like it and I have no reason to change it either so this is the default without bash rc and any configuration in any way all black all boring and no shortcuts to anything and uh, it is what it is the first thing i want to do is to make the, cut the background transparent with which is background opacity and zero will give you complete transparency which is uh, kind of hard to read if you don't have a dark background but um, it's not very good at all so I increased it some bit to I don't know 210 something ish and now it's transparent and you can read but when I start it it still doesn't look very fun at all and it's not completely as clean as I want it so this menu doesn't give me anything at all so settings appearance I guess it should be in English and remove it should say hide menu something like that and the menu is gone now it's clean <coughs> but still I want this little thing screen fetch I want that one to start when I open the terminal so how do you do that well you need to edit your bash RC either you have it either you don't if you don't have it create it if you have it change it I want to clear the screen first so I don't get any text above the arch logo type and then just screen fetch save exit and now when I launch the terminal again, it looks a little bit more welcome. And a little info. Especially this one is kind of nice to keep an eye on. <coughs> so, I want to check if I have any updates. I haven't. But still, I don't want to type this every single time. So back into bash rc and we use the handle little thing alias all right and we want to call this update system and we type in the command for it important to use those and not those save exit and now we can just type bash to reload the bash file we don't need to exit and we start the terminal every time you edit your by bash rc and now i can just type update system instead rather than type in the pacman dash syu and the same goes with the ls it would be a very hard life to type this every single time i want to use color and check something out so back into bash we want ls to use that one as you see ls is a command but you can still do an alias for it and it will use that before the real command if you understand what i mean and we want to have a shortcut for list hidden list hidden files this is like that reload bash and list hidden you see, now we're getting somewhere. So what more can I say? Some useful commands. That is grip and pipe. And why is that? Well, you can, we can use this command, glx info. Good luck finding what you're looking for. 
I just wanted to see the OpenGL part, which is to get my point right. So we do the same thing. Space and the pipe and then the grip OpenGL. What it does that instead of writing the info on the screen, it pipes it out into thin air and then the grep command grab whatever you might write here in in this case this so then it's very easy to find specific info even if you have a tremendous amount of text flying by and you can use that on pretty much anything you can do a ls the pacman backup files and you can actually do like that and then to grab everything that have Linux in it which basically is the same as just doing this it gives the same result but here we just have the file name and here we have the complete path which is depending on what you're doing pretty nice like if you're installing a local package, you can just use that like that. So that's pretty much it for the super basic terminal. It just took a couple of minutes to make it very black and boring to very nice and clean. And just go ahead and experiment with all the stuff and you can find a lot more of the bash commands in the wiki, of course doing a serious video about every bash configuration would take hours and hours and hours and this is just to get you started with a better looking uh, terminal and now I'm gonna go back to my default wallpaper and this is nitrogen now it looks like I'm used to and by the way this is open box which is uh, in my opinion a very nice window manager. I have the GTX 1080 with i7 6700K so I can easily run whatever I want like KDE or something but I'm still using the open box even that I have hardware enough to run KDE just as smooth. So it's not a matter of hardware in my case it's just a matter of it's very clean very fast very I just like it. And the reason for the terminal talk in the beginning, if you're going down the road <coughs> with clean stuff, clean windows, everything should be easy, light, small and perfect. You really need to get, get to be best friend with the terminal. Because if you want to edit something in the open box, you just have to swallow your pride and realize that you have to use the... the terminal for pretty much anything but it's not as hard as it looks I, I promise and um, that's it for now and if you find this useful so please subscribe and please share it and uh, I need to get the channel going so I can make even more videos and um, practice my English pronouncement most of all but I need people to give me suggestions about to do I have some um, ideas of what to do, like um, how do you make your your um, grub look better and easy. Easy is the main key for me. Uh, well, regardless of what I'm doing, it must be easy. And many things is easier than it looks. Like the grub thing, in my case, I'm just using this little handy utility. For changing the backgrounds, how to boot and what to boot and all that. And um, before I just quit this little video, I'm going to say that I have Linux Mint Mate 18.1 installed. And I also have the Manjaro KDE, the latest version. I don't think Jill or what it's called. I'm going to re review those. And I have to say that uh, Mint is going to get a... Uh, 
very nice recommendation for new users I have to point that out for people that come in from Windows etc and that is almost only because of the nice software center we don't have that uh, nice thing in Arch we need to know what package we look for we can't just type we can just for us it's hard to do like through the pacman uh, paint well of course we can but it still doesn't give us the same freedom as the mate does so with that said please leave any comment if you are curious about something and um, otherwise i'll see you in a couple of days with the part three of the arch installation series where we are going to install x some with some login managers and some desktop managers and i believe xfce will be the first one out so see you soon bye